It's a friendly little shop and everybody knows each other. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I, I'm a bit of an agony aunt. Um, I listen to most people's stories. Always Hi. there for a helping aunt. Hi. Uh, this is John, my husband. He's out of work at the moment, unfortunately, so we're getting tortured at work because he's trying to help out, but he's in the way sometimes. The local school here, junior school, where a lot of uh, the steel workers' kids uh, go to this school. Now we're on the main high street. Um, I don't think many businesses thrive on this high street. Um, I don't know what more they can do, really. We've got a for sale sign, a for sale to let sign. And Karen likes to um, listen to what people have to say. You know, she's always been a good shoulder to cry on. And she gets a lot of people coming in, telling her all sorts, and then sometimes she gets bogged down with it, though. Myself, I, I just haven't got time for myself, basically, because I'm listening to everybody else. And then, if I talk to my husband, for instance, he doesn't want to listen. <laughs> no, he does listen. Is it the sort of town that needs an agony aunt? I would say so, especially at the moment, the way things are. Um, it's a lot of doom and gloom, and, and people are depressed about what's happened with the steelworks. My son, for instance, he was at the coke ovens. Just got a newborn baby, he's already got a family. So it's just heartbreaking to see. It's like Christmas is coming up and like how do they afford toys and the, the food? Well, it's not easy. Obviously, we're all proud lads and, and stuff like that, but um, it would really pay a lot of people off if this town died. When I was little, yeah, it used to be a day out at the seaside. Um, with your mums and dads, uh, there used to be lots of rides, there used to be the donkeys, you know, it used to be fun, but now there's nothing you get. I think there's a couple of fairground rides, they've built that beacon which is just a waste of time. Here we have our superb vertical pier. <laughs> I've done the seafront quite nice. This is our famous beach, nice sand. They'd love that in Barcelona. Best thing about Redca. There's the old steelworks. Still there, like a little ghost in the distance. If you can see like a, an arm going up, that central part there, that's the blast furnace. The people of this town won't just let it die. We just want to. We just want to survive. That's all we've ever done in our lives. We're great survivors, and we'll survive again. But we just like some help to do it. People in Redcar are so friendly. It's a place that I've lived in all my life, and I wouldn't leave Redcar. Obviously, you get the odd one. <laughs> but um, if I didn't live in Redcar, I wouldn't come out for a day out in Redcar. To be honest. Yeah, this is Marks and Spencer's. There was a little campaign to try and keep it open, but didn't go, didn't get anywhere. Like all our campaigns lately, we try our hardest. We campaign to government and everyone else, and no one seems to listen. <laughs> we shut it anyway, same as it did with the steelworks.